Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode of Entertainment News on Channels Television. Of course, from where we are located, you can see that this is a special edition for the AMBCAs on Entertainment News. I am Ewa Lua Gumbarete. I am not alone today. With me is... Uh, my name is Abide Midairo and together with Ewa Lua we will be helping you come through um, the glamour of the AMVCAs, which is not just about celebrating excellence in African film, but also um, looking at the excellence in African fashion and glamour. Huh? Definitely, definitely. We have that in the surplus whenever we come to the AMVCAs red carpet, which is, which is what we are on right now and what we will be looking at shortly absolutely so um there's a lot of fashion for you to enjoy and um i'll be putting you in the hands of our lua to walk you through um the red carpet and catch all the glimpses of um the glitz and the glamour of the amvca i'm super excited last year we had all kinds of you know designs and um, aesthetics on on the red carpet we had chandeliers we had horns we had barbies we had mermaids i just cannot wait to see what we have this year on the MBCS red carpet. Absolutely. So, um, Ewalua, take them away. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Most have said that each year, at the top of the list of the anticipated moments at the AMVCAs, is the red carpet. Celebrities take advantage of the spotlight and shine their brightest year in, year out. At the 10th edition of the African Magic Viewers' Choice Award red carpet, fashion came to play on its playground. From sequins to bold colors and artistic fashion statements, there was enough to feed the eyes. Here are some of the recurring fashion themes at the AMVCA's red carpet. Bold Colors The color green and pink is expressed boldly by both male and female celebrities. With a fine blend of elegance and individuality, high-profile personalities including reality star Saga Adeolua, Diane Rossett, Afro High Life singer Chike, and others walk the red carpet in dashing pink and green ensembles. I just was giving them goddess, you know, but I didn't. I wanted to come with um, something that wasn't black or white or gold or something expected. So we went with fuchsia. We thought it was a color that was really fresh. Um, and um, I don't know. And then obviously, um, Diamond Eternal Jewelers, Cuckoo, she came and she finished off the look and she made me into this amazing Hollywood goddess. So, Nollywood goddess, should I say. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I love the look. I, me and Vic Nate work so well together that I just wanted to be comfortable and be myself. And this is me, this is me. Um, I'm wearing a Mikazbeat. The Mikazbeat is the inspired one. I saw it, I liked it. <laughs> and I say, I want that one. <laughs> The inspiration behind my outfit is my sister because she put this together, everything. She styled me from my hair to my toes, high vas. So you guys will watch out for her. <laughs> um, someone, when I walked in, someone said, oh, you remind me of the late Mira Makeba. And now you're mentioning Ivan Chaka Chaka. Someone said, you remind me of Ivan um, Angelique Kijo. And I said, oh, okay, that should say something. Because I just wanted to wear something truly African, not necessarily Nigerian, although it's a Nigerian designer that did this but just something African, because here the AMVC is full of Africa. This is us celebrating Africa in film. So yeah, that's what inspired me. Looking through the evening's most striking and daring ensembles offers an insight into the significance each celebrity attached to creating a lasting impression. Some of the artistic ensembles for the night had a hint of black. Wearing V. Key James, is 2023 AMVCA winner for Best Actress in a Reed Role or Sas Igodaro. In a spiral accentuated bespoke piece, Osas considers herself a muse. Also taken to her dark side is on-air personality and actress Simi as she stands out in metallic corset and teardrop crystal bedazzled bottom. So I'm going for dark them tonight, very sultry. I'm wearing the teardrops of my enemies. <laughs> the teardrops of my enemies. <laughs> but this outfit is by a designer called Midday by Midday. I just wanted something elegant, something that would fit, you know, the formal aspect of AMVCAs. Yeah, yeah. Well, my outfit um, was put together by Vicky James, a seasoned fashion designer. 
Um, I just told her I want something simple, classy, mature. And she came up with this. Um, my stylist just wanted something really classy, something that looked really ethereal. Something you see probably in a Wonderland or you see in a fairy tale movie. And uh, that's what she came up with. Her name is Nico Stylish, by the way. Well, I just woke up and I thought, you know what? I have a lot of hair on my head and I just want to do something different with it. So I thought, let me just go puff puff on it and show my gray as well as show all the different. And here we are. And this is Jason Posh has dressed me this evening. So. This amazing outfit was made by Larry Da Silva Ajayi in three days. Uh, my look, I'm amused and I'm amused to Vicky James and you know, I don't have any input in it. I just wear it and I'm so proud and honored to wear rock her pieces. She's absolutely amazing. When it comes to the glitz and glam, sequins are a perfect go-to. And some stars, including the AMVCA winner for Best Actress for the Night, Kane De Bancole, reality television star Tasha, music executive Dari Artaladi, actor Kelechi Udegwe and host of others, pulled off dramatic sequence dresses and bedazzled jackets in style. It literally was going hard. That was inspiration. We don't want it to go out, um, rock something, and nobody else was rocking. And of course, Abbas, the king of corset, needed to come, needed to come through. You guys, look at my corset bag, and look at this whole feet up here. So, I'm giving. What do you guys think? An honorable mention would be the men who were courageous with their fashion statements at the AMVCA red carpet. Um, actually, um, a good friend and a designer. No, I know him as Jide, but everybody knows him as Jide Reason. J Reason. Yeah, he put me in this outfit. Me and him are close, so he knows the kind of thing I like. He knows that I'm very expressive in my fashion sense, and I wouldn't want to just come here with like a plain suit or just something plain. Yeah, so no, he put me in this amazing outfit. Ah, just a little something, something. Deji and Kola made in Nigeria. Really proud of of uh, a lot of our fashion and couture work that we do. Um, and uh, yeah, just out to celebrate. Everything Nigerian and creative, yeah. My outfit's made by TJ Hu, TJ Hu University, to be precise. One of the best in the world right now. So yeah, I'm just excited to be wearing these pieces. No, no, this is just a uh, normal stuff. I put it on because I have, uh, my brand is a, is a kind of like a scruffy brand. And um, I like to look a little bit rough around the edges. So I decided to take this on today. And I am on pink today because I missed the great Barbie premiere. I was busy and I decided to just put this on today and then. Although it wasn't a theatric performance, the AMVCA red carpet had its curtain call in grand style with all the stars taking their bows in front of the cameras as they pose and exit. We anticipate the next fashion performance on the AMVCA red carpet come 2025.